Hi there. This is an update on my humanoid robot project. I feeling really bad that I haven't done anything in the past few months. I, I actually was wondering how long time ago I last worked on the robot and I checked uh, the document that I have with all the documentation for, for the robot and I haven't opened that since like more than two months ago. So it's been a while um, and I don't know why I, I, I just postponed and uh, try to do other things instead yeah I just needed a break but I think I'm not back to it and actually it's all because of a kid um, who got interested in uh, in my work and wanted a demo uh, of my robot so now I'm super excited um, to show the robot and um, to be honest I haven't prepared uh, for his visit so we're just gonna turn on the, the robot uh, when he arrives. I haven't turned it on for like two months. So it's been sitting there in the in the back uh, like that. Um, I have no idea in what state it is um, as it's not a finished product. Like this is research in progress. So hopefully he will like it and he'll be entertained not only by the what it can do and how it looks but also the process of building a robot um, and the challenges that come with it so a bit nervous i'm looking forward to it <laughs> there <it is. laughs> So as I expected, it didn't just work by powering it on. First I had some connectivity issues and then I wanted to test the speech recognition and it just didn't work. So I had to do kind of a brain surgery and then uh, reconnect uh, the board for the microphones. Right in the brain. There's hope. Okay, then let's try again with the speech recognition. You can only tolerate other robots. Too many humans in the room? Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Now I'm doing it like this. And, yeah. and I can also, I think I can also change um, the, the voice. Let me see if I can turn it down. Jarvis, my name is Paula. <laughs> How old are you? Death question broke him. Yep, he realized he's a robot. <laughs> How is the weather? In my location. Jarvis in Copenhagen. I was made by a freak adventure. What? <laughs> oh, now he said I was made by a brilliant engineer. <laughs> How's the weather like? I'm not sure we were properly introduced. What's your name? Hi, Jarvis. My name is Paula. My name is not. <laughs> what am I built? <laughs> Jarvis, what's the time? So it's late to work, otherwise it's fine. <laughs> Jarvis, I am happy. I love you, Brian. <laughs> I think it's the best sense of humor. Hey, Jarvis, how were you made? I was built with a lot of imagination. <laughs> Finally, a good answer. 
So Tobias, how do you like the robot? I think it's very cool. I like the speakers and how it sounds and it, it has this personality. So it's very uh, fun. And apparently its name is not. But uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thanks for visiting the lab. See you next time, Paula. And uh, see you, Brian. Nice to meet you. Have fun. <laughs> it's been an amazing day and so nice to see that the robot is working again. Um, I feel like I need to explain a bit the personality thing. Uh, so what happens is that uh, the speech recognition component using the microphones uh, that I have now connected to Raspberry Pi, they're not really picking up all the sounds correctly. So basically that translation from speech to text, that's the part that kind of goes wrong. And um, then the output, like what the robot says, is kind of random most of the times. So it became really, really funny. Uh, <laughs> actually, it's not bad. Rather than other uh, voice assistants who just do what you tell them to do, this one actually kind of feels like it has some personality. But could be improved a bit. At some point it might get a bit annoying. Um, but it's been a great day and I'm so thankful to Tobias for visiting the lab and um, thank you to all of you who have been watching this video. Take care and see you next time. Bye! Yes, it's gonna be working. It's still in the making. Wow.